Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So with today's video is a new arrival. Um, this is not a kit that was really on my radar. I've not gone out and bought it because I've been watching it and it looks awesome. Um, it was just something I knew of. Um, and then when I did a little bit of research about it, I thought, yeah, that could be pretty cool. Um, now I know these are, or at the time I'm making this video, these are getting a little bit harder to get hold of. Um, it's a limited sales edition kit from Tamiya, whatever that means. So it's obviously not a, you know, it's not a limited edition of like only like 10,000 kits made or a limited sales. So there'll be a shed load of them, but it's a 2010 kit. Now I had the T805 car and I absolutely loved it. I had a very hopped up one. And I did all that speedrun series with it, the yellow bumblebee, if you remember that. Um, and I moved that chassis on, and I kind of wish I hadn't done. I probably say that about everything I move on. But, um, yeah, I, I can't... Future speedruns and motor tests and comparisons, this car kind of suits the bill for that. I'm not talking about out-and-out speedruns. I'm just talking about a nice touring car chassis that I can bang vintage motors and new motors in and we can, you know, as I say, do comparisons. So this tier 5 version 2 kind of fits that bill. Now I have a couple of questions for you guys. Um, the first one being, if there's any of you guys who are sort of tier 5 experts, the this was, as I said, this is called T805 version 2, so the next evolution of the standard chassis. Now, the only difference that I can see from standard ch chassis is the fronts are laid out, the shock, the front shocks are laid down, which is cool. It they look pretty cool, and apparently this is a really good handling chassis. Um, four wheel drive, belt driven, two belts. Um, I believe it's ball diff, but don't quote me on that because I've not looked. When we get into it, we can have a look at that. Um, fully adjustable turnbuckles, so all the good stuff, camber, toe in, toe out, um, all that good stuff, ride heights and that's fully adjustable, it's kind of ready, it's a really entry level touring car, um, but bathtub style chassis. So my question is, and this is a bit I don't understand, so it's called T805 version 2, no problem, but they also do T805 IFS kits. Now. All the IFS stands for is inbound front shocks, which is the version two kit. So what? I mean, I've looked, I've I've, I've looked, tried to do some research on this and figure out what's the difference from version two to the IFS car. I think it's the same car, which is really odd, if that makes sense. So if any of you guys know if there's more differences from version two to the IFS. Um, and if there's not, why call it something different after you've already called it version 2, if that makes sense. I find that rather odd. Hopefully someone watching will better give me the answer on that. So, um, yeah, next question really is, I don't know what I'm going to do with the body shell. So, as you can see from the picture, it's certainly from my angle, it's not the greatest looking thing. Now, I, I kind of do think it's because of the actual sort of box art of the car that's not great. But I'll put these pictures up of the actual real car, and especially this second picture with that angle, it doesn't look a bad looking thing at all. So when I found those pictures, I was a little bit more sort of optimistic of, yeah, this thing's going to look pretty cool. Um, but I am thinking, oh, just before I go on to what I'm thinking of doing, another interesting thing I noticed from the pictures is Tamiya haven't copied the wing correctly, which is very odd for Tamiya. First of all, the kit, Color wing is the, the wing the the but the color of the wing is black. The actual car it's white. That's a very odd thing for Tamiya not to to copy. And also, if you look at the wing mounts, the wing stanchions on the actual picture, the two beams very close together. And Tamiya on on the kit, it's it's a lot further wider apart. I found that quite bizarre from Tamiya because normally, but obviously, they're known for their sort of scale shells, and um, not to copy that little bit surprise me anyway i mean we can always paint it white if we should go box that but just before getting a box before i saw the actual pictures of the car i was like i'm not definitely not doing box art i don't like it but i was thinking of doing it in the um you know the tamiya group c cars the silver mercedes-benz le mans car i'll put a picture up it's very basic but it looks it's a stunning looking car and i was thinking to 
do this car because it is a Le Mans style car. Just do it in silver or maybe the aluminium silver on chrome paints. You know, that real sort of mirror finish. And then I can get the Mercedes um, Le Mans black MCI decals. So I can get those decals for it. So I can make it look like that car, if that makes sense. And I think it could look pretty cool. I know it's not a Merc, but nevertheless, I think as a, a sort of Le Mans style car, that could look cool. And also, this comes with um, touring car slicks and wheels. But I was also thinking, I was having a look at the contact um, foam wheels and tyres. You know, they come pre-glued. And uh, I've never had a set of them, and I know the speed, gun, speed run guys use the, the contact tyres. So I was thinking, maybe order a full set of those as well. Now, my only fear using foams is, and I could be talking out my bottom here, but I think the diameter of the wheel is not, not even close to a, a one-tenth sort of slick wheel that Tamiya come, comes with. So my, I, I need to, before I order those, I need to check that out. Because obviously if that foam wheel is quite a bit smaller than the Tamiya one, that means the wheel arches are going to be the look horrendous. Does that, if that makes sense. I hope I'm wrong and I really hope they are the same size, but I'm pretty sure they're not. But we'll have a look at that and if I think I can make that work, then obviously with a style of shell in a Le Mans, Le Mans style car, those foam wheels and tyres. But that picture I showed you, it, they do a lots of different style of wheel um, and I, they do sort of, they, they do the wheels that would really suit this car and then obviously they've got the foam tyres on top. So anyway, I'm just sort of, um, chewing the fat way about what I'm going to do so if you've got any ideas for this shell any sort of thinking out the box ideas please stick it in the comments because as I'm making this video I am a little bit I've, I've now seen that racing car picture of a real car from that, that angle and I like it but I also think the Mercedes sort of box art will work on it as well but very open to, you, to hearing from you guys on ideas that, that you think and last thing I'll, I'll talk about before we look, have a get into this is this car come, or can be heavily hopped up as this picture shows you. Now, when I when I bought this car, I started looking at hop-ups because I thought this would be a really cool chassis to put the Tamiya bling on. But um, I can't get hold of the bits. As I say, this is only 2010 kit, so it's not like mega old, but can't find the bits. I can, find, I can get the TRF shocks, I can get the front um, rocker alloy um, brackets for the shocks but um, oh, and I, I can or I've seen one front bulkhead for sale but looking at pictures you need other bits for it it's not just that bulkhead section you need the bits that go around it for the hinge pins and stuff um, and I've never seen the rear bulkhead for sale um, and interestingly there's not, even, there's not even a part number for it which is mega odd which makes me think that it's possibly the rear bulkhead off the original T805R car. I don't know. So again, if any of you guys have know anything about those genuine Tamiya hop-ups, or if you have so many for sale, please put it in the comments or contact me. Because if I could get all the set the front and back bulkheads, then I would go full hop-up spec with it and, and change it all over. With it, it'll, it'll quite a expensive cost to do that, but I think it's worth it for this chassis. Anyway, that's enough babbling. Let's get into this kit. Well, definitely not the greatest box art from Tamiya. Uh, <laughs> standard TR5 box with um, this stuck on as a decal of the actual car. Very cheap way of doing it, but I guess it works. Just show you again that hopped up version. As I say, TRF shocks we can get. Front um, IFS alloy rockers we can get. A l we can get the bulkhead but not all these alloy about and again that rear bulkhead just don't know what it is or what it's from which is a little bit frustrating there is a part number here that's interesting why I said there was no number for it is because I've got um, a Tamiya catalog which has got this this full spec car in and there was no information on that rear bulkhead I'll uh, I'll um, I'll have a look for that now and everything's just thrown in there. Um, so there's not a great deal to this kit. I'm not going to open all the bags up, don't worry, you know what it is. But I just kind of want to have a look at the actual body shell bit itself. So that's a rear wing, hard plastic. Again, with the wide stanchions. That's very odd, again, why we didn't copy the kit exactly. 
Um, but anyway, I mean, we will paint that to match. We have this rear section here. That's, what is that? So that's the back end of the car. So the body shell's in a couple of pieces. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm just looking where it cuts. So yeah, there's a there will be a little bit of extra work for this car. Let's just open that up. So this, in fact, let's leave the shell to the end. Um, don't know if there's much else to show you. Oh, interestingly, or I found it was interesting, the um, slick tyres it comes with have foams already. And these these are softer. These are more like the um, racing slicks you get from Tamiya. Um, so that's a nice touch. That's that's a better quality of rubber tyre. Standard kit wheels. Nothing too exciting, to be honest. We can change them. I did have, and I don't know where it is, I bought a set of uh, bearings for this car. and I should have put them in this box, but I don't see them. Um, dual belt, as I say white as well in colour so that'll look a little bit better bag of hardware there's no um, motor there was a bearing there I didn't know oh there's bearings there as well that's interesting because I have as I say I bought a full bearing kit for it but there's a lot of metal parts with this um, yeah this is going to be a nice build ah oh, there's the bearings tier or five bearings that I bought for it um, so yeah it looks like I'm going to have some left over which is always nice and as I say that's your bathtub style chassis very nice Quick look at the decals window mass is standard oh wow that's quite a big sheet of decals yeah it is a big sheet of decals now I'm wondering I thought it was two colours on the body shell blue and white now I'm wondering if all that blue is just decal kind of looks like it is anyway i mean we might you know we might not end up not even using those but um yeah it's always nice to have and then we've got um version 2 set up that's always a good thing to have and then we've got the body shell instructions ps48 and what's the main colors just bog standard white yeah that's interesting, just seeing how that back end fits together. You actually, um, PS1, what am I looking at here? Right, yeah, cut that out. That's a bit of work for that back end, actually. Yeah, so it is decals. The blue is all decal. Well, I would have thought you would have painted that two, two colours. Obviously not, and then obviously the manual. So yeah, now I've got to try and get all this back in there. Never that easy to sort of see how the body shell is unpainted, unfortunately. But it 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 does look a nice looking body shell. Um, I just think the gen the the pictures that Tammy are used for it were just not the best. Um, again, that's just my opinion. It's got a sexy back end as well. There's a lot of detail we can put on this car. It's got a lot of it's got a, it's got a load of shape to it, which I really like. A lot of lines that we can fill in. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I actually think we can make this look way better than the box art car. So that's it, guys. Um, leave in the comments what you think. If you've got any ideas for the paint job on foam tyres if you know if they're a different diameter that's just been I'm, I'm being absolutely lazy asking you guys to do that when I should just google it um, but yeah if you've got any other ideas or any stuff you want to maybe see me do to this kit you know let me know so guys once again thanks so much for watching it's really appreciated if you are new to this channel if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us and if you do that smash that notification bell for our weekly videos and as always guys happy seeing.